Hey, what's going on guys? I've had quite a few people ask me if I'm ever gonna do um, Let's Play style videos again, and this video is gonna be me trying out something new. I wanted a gameplay video to kind of fit in with this channel a little bit more. So instead of me just goofing off and playing a game, it's gonna be more educational and lore-based, and it's gonna be kind of like a movie commentary or an audio commentary, but for a specific game level. And I thought the perfect game to test this out on is Dark Forces, because in the very first level, you steal the plans to the Death Star, which is very appropriate with Rogue One around the corner. Um, so thank you, Rogue One, for making Dark Forces relevant again. If you're unfamiliar with this game, you play as Kyle Katarn, a recent defector from the Empire. This gun he starts with is the Briar Pistol, which was recently made canon thanks to Battlefront. Anyway, we're here because Mon Mothma sends Kyle to the planet Denuda after a rebel spy reports that a copy of the Death Star's plans are being held there. And that's where we are right now, Denuda and its capital city of Trid. It doesn't look like much, but we're supposed to be on the southern outskirts of the city. Beyond this garrison, there are homes, a spaceport, and even a Bomar temple. I find it interesting that Denuda's terrain is kind of coincidentally reminiscent of what we've seen of Eadu in the Rogue One trailers. Why the plans were sent to this small base on a barren planet, I'll get into that in a second. But the real reason, I think, is that the developers just thought it would be a fun way to kick the game off. But since it's the first level, it's not particularly difficult. I think Rogue One is going to show us a much more challenging mission for our heroes. But we can kind of credit the ease of this mission to three things. First, Kyle is Force-sensitive. He doesn't know that yet, but he still could have some innate Force abilities helping him along. Like his apparent super stealth skills. Like, are these guys deaf? I've been shooting up your entire base. Be on alert. Second, Kyle had some help from an Imperial officer and friend named Mech Odom. Hopefully it wasn't that guy I just killed. Odom told Kyle about the air shaft we came in, as well as the type of security to expect. Like this guy. I knew he'd be here thanks to Odom, not because I've played this game like literally a billion times. Third, while we're inside the base here, Jan Ors is creating a diversion on the opposite side of the facility, which drew away most of the Imperial forces, allowing Kyle to breeze through relatively unopposed. And here we are, the Death Star on display with the plans just around the corner. So how did they wind up on this insignificant planet? They were actually secretly sent there after being discovered by the Death Star's librarian, Ator Wrighton, just because he thought they would be useful for a book he planned on writing one day. Of course, keeping that file would be a big no-no, and he sent them to Denuda specifically because it was a backwater planet, and he felt they would be easy to hide there. Well, I guess not, because they're mine now. If you really look into the full story of how the Death Star plans were stolen, you'll know what we just got are only part of the plans. The whole legend story is kind of crazy and convoluted, but this game was the first version of it that I experienced, so I tend to just pretend that Kyle stole all of the plans. But even at the beginning of the level, the fact that this is just a part of a larger mission is referenced by the mission title, which is Operation Skyhook Part 2. Regardless, our job is done, and Jan is here to pick us up in the Moldy Crow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was kind of a short level, but I think it gives you at least an idea of what I want this series to be like. So I'd love to hear your feedback about it. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, and if I keep it going, I will adjust accordingly. And if I do continue it, I'll probably finish Dark Forces because it's a great game and it's got a lot of great lore involved with it. Uh, but I'm absolutely open to taking requests for games. Um, I think anything with a good story it would fit very well in the series. So The Force Unleashed or Republic Commando, anything like that might fit better than, say, like Pod Racer. Although I could talk about the planet and maybe the pod racing track or the racer I'm playing. So there's a lot of different options there. But if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.